Sounds a lot of stuff. Oh! oh! <laughs> That's fun. Bullet time is fun. <laughs> Greetings, I, the War Owl greets you. Time, the great equalizer of all men. None can escape her dastardly machinations, the inevitability of finality. I have achieved mastery of time, at least in our imaginary world of Counter-Strike. The command is host time scale. So I guess it's not very complicated after all. What would happen if we sped up time inside of competitive Counter-Strike? What would happen if we slowed it down? Horrible, horrible, unspeakable things. Here's what happened. Nobody expects the rush B. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster already. <laughs> we started off by playing a competitive match at two times speed, which means the game was being processed twice as fast, but our inputs, meaning our keyboard and mouse presses, struggled to keep up. We had to think, act, and click twice as fast as normal. Right away we realized it didn't work. Banana, banana, banana. I think I got one. You did. Last one's back here, too. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's watch that again from the server's perspective at half speed or n normal speed for the game. You, you understand. Hmm, it almost looks like how a bot plays, smooth and bad. <laughs> they sound like the worms from the Worms games. Oh my god, they do. Very quickly, the meta changed from AKs and M4s to SMGs, shotguns, and Negevs. And one type of grenade became unexpectedly overpowered. Oh no! You die so fast in the fire! We did it, we did it, go plant. Oh my god! The submachine gun has an easier spray pattern and isn't subject to the massive movement inaccuracy of the rifles. The P90 became the main primary weapon. Hmm, the P90 is also the main primary weapon of bad players. Maybe we've been thinking about skill and Counter-Strike all wrong. Maybe bad players just have brains that work twice as slow. This gun's very good. The shotguns also don't have the same movement inaccuracy and faster speed yes. meant slower reactions, so which means you can get up close and personal to people relatively faster, and you didn't have to be directly on target to get a hit. In the smoke, I think? <laughs> you knifed him. Oh, what? <laughs> I just oh, it's so good! And the Negev? Well, it's... It's the Negev. Oh my gosh, what is that? What are the drawbacks of the Negev? Well, it's a slow movement speed, even slower movement speed when shooting, and it takes a little bit of time before the gun becomes accurate, and then it becomes like a laser. Let's see what happens when we turn the speed up to two times. Oh dear, that is disturbing. Once we switched to the CT side, we figured out the true overpowered weapon, friendship, and the auto shotgun. Oh, the auto is so good. Oh my gosh, I have six health. They're not planted, haven't planted. Yes! GG! We win! That was insane! Hi guys! I think we should rush B on our pistol round! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Contact me. Contact, Contact me. me. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, oh.
Go, 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 go. For our second game, we turned the speed down to 75% of normal. It seemed to affect the in-game voice chat too, which was fun. So the game didn't take two hours to play, we set the max rounds to 20. Where two times speed was frustrating, persistent bullet time was very, very fun. I almost so aced that. This is proof, oh, this dope. is proof that my boomer brain just needs to slow down and I'll be amazing. Triple. Oh, that was four. Let's watch that again, but we'll speed up the footage so the game is played at normal speed. Fire. Oh! Flashbang. Bombs in a palace. Good uh, days. T dance jungle with no. Oh, baby. If only my brain and body worked one third faster, I'd be destroying them noobs. Wait a minute, one third faster? I thought you said this was 75% speed. Let's see, 75% is 3 fourths, so 1 over 3 fourths is 4 thirds minus 1 is 1 third. Huh. Math is strange, and I don't want to do it again. I don't know if he's in a one minute two situation. I uh, think he's uh, in a market, but uh, I think we're going to win. I think uh, he's up this in the bad place. Slowing down the speed just slightly made me hyper aware of the base mechanics of the game. I could see the movement inaccuracy. I could calculate the recoil in real time. I could observe the very spirit of the game itself. The stuff we often lose track of and write off as just being feeling was very, very apparent. Call me! Let's see how long this takes. GG. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we're live, guys. We're live. Two times speed was a mess, but slightly slower was outstanding. So for our third game, we slightly increased the speed to 125 percent. Race! Oh my gosh! When I played the violin and wanted to learn a particularly difficult section, I would start off by playing it slowly, accurately, deliberately, to make sure there were absolutely no mistakes. And then I would gradually increase the speed faster and faster until I could play it faster than it was meant to be played with zero mistakes. Once I dropped the speed back down to normal, it almost seemed easy. I had learned it inside and out. I was proficient. Oh, just go B, just go B. There's two, there's two on, uh, there's two on What's my favorite desert, comrade? What's my favorite desert? Desert. Yeah, what's my favorite desert? The horror? The go B, go B! No, they're gonna save. These are close rounds, money matters. Oh, he's, he's pushing. Nice. He's pop dog. No, he's here. Oh, nice. oh, 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 that's going to my highlight reel. To truly learn and understand something, we need to take it to its extremes, to ball it up and stretch it out, to understand its very nature. I was Goku training in the gravity machine, but what was being pushed to its extremes was not the game. It was my mind. Oh, I got a rep, man. <laughs> there was no... <laughs> Ooh! 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 
the whole experience was fun. I hope to never do it again. Thanks for watching, I'm the War Owl and I still have no closer. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>